In this video, I'm gonna show you what a backflow preventer looks like when it's on your hose bib. Let me show you something. So right here, we've got a standard hose bib that's coming out of the house. And if you've ever seen these deals that are kind of added on to the end of it, what this is is actually a backflow preventer that goes on to your uh, hose bib of your house. And I'll take it off here. I kind of loosened it so I could get it off. And you'll see, let me zoom in here. They have a set screw that puts it in there. And you can, when you tighten it on there, you can put that and it'll stay on. But this is what it looks like. You see the little holes there? You can see a spring. I'll show you this side. I had some Teflon tape on there. You can kind of see what it looks like. But what this is designed for is to, it's a backflow preventer. So it keeps stuff from going backwards back into your water supply for your house. If you don't have one of these, so let me show you. If your hose bib just looks like this, just a standard hose bib, and it doesn't have one of these on there, I highly recommend you go get one of these. You can get them at Home Depot, uh, Lowe's, or maybe your sprinkler supply place close to your house. But tell them that you want one of these. It's just a, a backflow preventer that goes on your hose bib. Uh, they'll tell you exactly what they call them. I've heard a couple different names for them. But highly recommend you put this right here on your hose bib because you want backflow protection also right here you've got it on your sprinkler you also want it on your hose bib and so what this you just screw this on there and get it tight you might want to put a wrench on it and everything works off it works the same it kind of i'm not going to turn it on i don't want to get sprayed but then what it does is it keeps water from going back and i want to show you uh, i've got a system kind of rigged up over here at this rent house that comes off this hose and so if we put this hose on here and you can see this hose and it goes down into my pipe I've got one coming to the drip and I've got it to where I can shut off the heads or run drip or heads that's off this pipe it actually goes underneath and over and then it goes into the yard so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how this works I'm gonna turn this on turn it on all the way so that's all the way on and if I zoom over here, we've got 100 MP rotors in this yard. So let me show you that you can hear it running, you saw it running. And when you turn this off, and if there's a question on is there backflow that's gonna come up your hose, well, this is gonna answer that question too. Because the question the answer is yes. When I shut this off, you see that? that's designed works exactly like it was supposed to because when those heads go down it's pushing water back and it actually pushed it back up this hose but that's what this was it kept it it came brought it out kept it from going into the house which could be a potential problem and we can i can show you again i turn this on i'm gonna show you from this view so you see the head there I'm gonna turn it off. When that head goes down, right there, this is what happens. When the head pushes down, it actually pushes water back in, uh, trying to push it back up in the house. Now what happens is, these heads, when I fertilize the yard, fertilizer, Fertilizer can get stuck around the head. A dog can pee on the head. Dog can chew on it. All kind of contaminants can be around that head. And when it goes down, it actually sucks it down in. And you can see the water that came out of this backflow preventer that was coming out. That actually, what, the stuff that's in there can eventually keep sucking in, sucking in, and get back into your water. Now in this house, I'll show you this window. The this kitchen sink is right here. And so eventually that stuff could get right there in the kitchen sink and just really contaminate the whole house, but definitely right there. So one of the main reasons you have any kind of backflow is to keep things from going back into your water supply and contaminating your water. In this case, it can happen on your hose bib. As you see, that water was pushing up since I've got these heads on there. So you wanna have a backflow preventer on your sprinkler, but also on your hose bib. Every single hose bib on your house needs to have one of those. So if you go out in your house and you don't have one of those, you need to go get one and put it on there. You need to have that backflow preventer on your hose bib.